after deciding on our issue, we believed it was best to get in contact with some people involved in finding the solution. We decided to contact Judge Lifeman because he was the head of a local task force for the topic. He informed us about why this is such a prevalent topic in our community and why he believed that we should be part of finding a solution. He gave us a long list of people who we should contact. One of these names was Mr. Harris Levine, a consultant. Mr. Levine showed us how people in our community had suffered because of the topic at hand. This made us want to create a change in our state. In addition, we talked to Ashley Thomas from the Find and Fuse Justice Center. She helped us target committee members from our local legislators to lobby. In this process, we, contact, we contacted Florida Senator Jason Pizzo, who represents our county. Senator Pizzo helped us see our topic from a legislative point of view. He suggested that we write handwritten letters to our legislators, among some other things. He explained to us that handwritten letters almost always get more notice. Unfortunately, these bills died in committee this session. However, I believe that our fight to end driver's license suspensions isn't lost. We are continuing to reach out to our county commissioners, Eileen Higgin, in hope of seeing some change at a local level, given that it has failed on a state level.